we are here to witness the love, the happiness, and the coming together of two lives. And now there are three, and Kelly and Matt are finally getting married. <laughs> Movies and storytelling are a big part of their lives. And the story of Matt and Kelly's love started when they were teenagers. In many ways, they have grown up together. They've guided each other into the people that they have become and now started a family together. In college, it was very obvious to everyone that Matt loved Kelly. Everyone, except for Kelly. It took months of totally not dating before they gave dating a shot. So I want to remind you that patience has paid off for you in the past and will serve you in the future. My difficult days seem to melt away when you're right. You established a solid foundation of friendship upon which you built your love. You struck ground on that foundation when you watched a movie together for the first time. In remembrance of that first film, we would like to share a reading from the movie based on the graphic novel of Stardust. When I see the way that mankind loves, you could search the furthest reaches of the universe and never find something more beautiful. I'll be right here inside you. Oh. But if there's love, dear, those are the ties that bond, and you'll have a family in your heart forever. So pull me in close, soft and slow. Kelly, we've been together for almost half our lives. You know this, you were there. But being together so long, I thought it would make it hard to find new ways to vow to love each other, but it wasn't. It was easy and as fun as falling in love for that first time 14 years ago. I remember a moment when I was telling my mom about you, and she said, he's a keeper, Kelly, which was a huge relief because at this point, we had already been together for 13 years, and I was six months pregnant with our baby. <laughs> you were working late nights, cooking and cleaning so that I could rest as much as possible. You were my emotional and physical support while I prepared for the biggest role of my life, being gal's mom. Last year, Kelly called me to say that she was pregnant. Gal was born on October 24th, and she's been the best little girl that we all could have hoped for. Anything to add, Gal? <laughs> Kelly and Matt, this is almost actually exactly 14 years since we all met each other at USC. So I think it's official. We're old friends. And I just want to say I look forward to being old friends with you for many years to come. Growing up and being your sister has really been a blessing. You are an amazing woman. And Matt, you absolutely match her 
amazingness. <laughs> I feel really lucky to have you as a brother. You have bewitched me, body and soul. And I love, I love, I love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Bravo, bravo. NYU, it's fine. <laughs> Matt, you are an amazing person, and I am so proud of you. And I look forward that I will always be a part of this new chapter of your life. You're stuck with me whether you want it or not. I have so many doubts in my life, but you are never one of them. I promise never to doubt us. You were really passionate about one day becoming a dad and having your own family. So many years later, I want you to know that seeing you hold Gal for the first time was one of the happiest moments of my life. I feel like when you're away from me, I'm only living half my life. And when you come back, I am me again. I promise to never stop missing you because when I see you again, it feels like seeing you for the first time. You have been an incredible dad in Gal's first year and I know you will continue to be someone she and I can depend on. You are a mother that humbles and inspires me to be a better father. I didn't know there were so many different ways to love until I saw how you love our daughter. And seeing her every day, it's like seeing you twice. And I promise to always love your love for our daughter. for making it here. I'm so grateful to have met you when we were young so we could grow together. I'm so grateful to have this moment with you in front of our family and friends. I'm grateful for the lives we have built and the home that we have made. But I really already felt at home with you 14 years ago, walking around campus and talking about our dreams. Well, I love you, you're my favorite. <laughs> Matt, you possess the courage, character, and conviction a mother can only dream of in a partner for their daughter. And Kelly, I know in my heart that Matt is the kind of person who will be there to support you and to help you overcome the worst things that life may throw at you. Gal, you have your dad's twinkle in your eye and the same sense of playfulness and wonder that I love about him. You inspire me every day to be a better version of myself and the mother that you deserve. <laughs> I love you. Gal, seeing you smile and grow and laugh is the most creatively fulfilling part of my life and I promise to love whoever you become. The grasp of love is boundless and eternal. I thank you all for joining us tonight in a celebration of the people we hold so dear. And I thank you even more for holding their love and their family in your own hearts. Kelly, you have helped my parents, our family, your friends, and his little sister understand Matt to an incredible degree. And I wanna thank you for that because it's been a gift. I pronounce you Matt and yeah. Kelly, husband and wife. One of the greatest joys of my adult life has been becoming best friends with my brother. 
And Kelly, you're the single biggest part of that. <laughs> it's about family. It's about friends. It's about the little things in life. God bless you with a long, happy, 